Larry Stewart with 4constructionpros.com at the Ditchwich booth at IQ. And I understand, uh, Seth, that uh, the the uh, uh, company has upscaled its 40 size class uh, directional drill machines with the new JT60. Why don't you tell us about it? Okay, the JT60 also is, comes in an L terrain, which is a AT60. And what we've done is we've taken all the reliable components of our all terrain and our JT4020, and we put that into the 60. So there's very many uh, components in this machine that have been reliable for many, many years that we've maintained. Uh, but we've also taken some components and uh, upgraded them and made them larger to meet the demand of 60,000 pounds of pullback, 9,000 foot pounds of torque, uh, 150 GPM mud bumps. Um, so we've taken all the things that we have that are really uh, good out of the 40, and, uh, and we've kept that in our system, but we've also uh, made enhancements to it. I see. And uh, the, it's pretty much the same frame and the same uh, chassis that uh, you, you use for the dirt machine. You also use that for the AT machine. Why don't you tell us how you adapt that machine for AT use? Uh, an all-terrain machine uh, has an additional pump. Uh, and motor on, on that system. Uh, but then you just change out your uh, drill pipe uh, and your jaws and your shuttle shuttle arm inserts and yep. you're ready to start drilling rock. Okay, so there, there's there's an additional pump, but the, the, is there a bigger hydraulic pump on the, on the machine? Well, a JT does have uh, um, just a standard dirt only. Uh -huh. um, but a lot of people will buy an AT machine mm -hmm. um, and they'll run it dirt for many, many months and then okay. decide I need, an all, I need to go do a rock job. My contract that I got, okay. so they'll rig the machine up with the rock system okay. and, and then go to work. I see. Okay. So, uh, it, it would be an initial investment of an AT, but they have that uh, flexibility down the road. Okay, all right, to, to add the additional pump to right. do the rock work. Right. All right, I see. So what kind of feedback were you getting uh, uh, from the marketplace that, that led to, to, to upscaling your, your offering in the middle of your, your dirt line? Our, our customers, their, their market, the, the energy industry, um, even the, the, the utility industry where they're doing a lot of multiples, we're needing to do larger back frames, go out further, just more production out of that size footprint. So what we try to do is put a machine um, that you can still get in a, a relatively small support package. Um, you know, still being pulled with a 40,000 pound trailer, uh, still being able to be pulled by either a single axle or a double axle truck, okay. um, and not have a semi. I see. Um, and, and be able to do that same job. That's what we've addressed with this machine. So what kind of what kind of weight are you talking about? Is this is this uh, below CDL level for transport? It's not below CDL level. Okay. It's it's thirty one thousand oh, okay. uh, pounds. Yeah, but right. um, in, in that market, typically uh, you're seeing those machines be closer to forty thousand pounds. Okay. So being able to still get on a twenty ton trailer um, is key. Okay, I see. Your mud pump is basically a little brother to the JT100 mud pump, which is 200 gallons a minute. This one's 150 gallons a minute, but it has all the features. So you can still, we know that there's still customers out there that run a lot of low flow mud boaters and mud boaters with reclaimers. We want to be able to have a system, no matter how they want to drill rock and, and harder conditions, we want to have that uh, option for them. Yeah, yeah. Well, compare for us the, the difference in capability between the, the, the 40 and the 60. How much more uh, pipe can you get in the ground with the 60? You're looking at about 50% more pullback, almost 75% more torque. Um, uh, as far as your back breathing capabilities, that's huge right. um, with a minimal investment. Sure, um, sure. Uh, again, we, we use a lot of common components with a 40. This actually has a JT100 gearbox on the rotation. So uh, that's that's kind of the key thing. In areas where we knew we needed to build a good, uh, solid foundation, we did. Yeah. And in areas we, need, we needed to enhance, we did. Okay. And uh, you mentioned the, the difference in investment. R roughly how much more, like may maybe as a percentage of the 40 level cost, how much more would you pay for it, for the JT60? You know, when you're looking at a package price, if yeah. you're looking at a uh, mud system, drill pipe, say 1,500 foot, 1,000 foot of drill pipe, electronics, the whole package, you're looking at about a 15% increase. 50% increase. 15. 15. 15. 15. Okay, thank you. Uh, for for a 50% improvement in, in capability. Relative, yes. Yeah. Very close.